This is part of a very large project that's called the Fire and Smoke Model Evaluation Experiment, and it's as close to a wildfire as you can get. The objective is to collect a suite of data to both evaluate and advance our fire and smoke models. To be able to put in instrumentation ahead of a real wildfire is very dangerous and almost impossible to do. NASA founded our previous project that actually allowed us to build you know, this prototype with the fire model. It focused not just on the prescribed burns, but also on wildland fires. We were able to get you know, the new forecast run just you know, before the briefing, and just right after the briefing, we get the first results. So we had an idea about the wind speed, uh, you know, rain. Winds aloft are going to be start to crank this afternoon, so there's going to be a, a sweet spot early this afternoon. This is our one concern area where we have continuous fuel. So we're going to send the hot shots that are rolling out of here right now. over there. We should be in a good spot to set up our truck in the LiDAR. That's gonna be a, a really intense burn. Also in a plume should be going like you know this direction so we will be able to really have a good angle. Attention on the crew net, attention on the crew net. The helicopter is airborne and they are igniting test fires at this time. I'm super happy. I kind of, you know, believed that, you know, our forecast, it, it was really, you know, spot on in terms of, uh, you know, how strong the winds are, you know, over this region. The same, you know, in terms of the plume location, I mean, you see that we are actually, you know, really close, you know, to the plume and that's, you know, what we wanted. Five years ago, when we were talking about, like, you know, real-time coupled uh -huh. fire atmosphere forecasting, uh -huh. and people were saying that, well, that's impossible. Five years later, I mean, we have completely different computational power, you know, to execute, you know, those forecasts. I mean, we can really do that. That's really the takeaway message for this whole program is that he was able to initiate his model today and yesterday and get a forecast that matches what we're seeing. So I'm super happy that NASA had a faith, you know, in this whole idea. It's great, you know, to see that, you know, running, working, and, and I hope that, you know, pretty soon, uh, you know, other people will be using that and it will be very helpful in designing prescribed burns, but also, you know, in terms of uh, uh, fighting uh, wildland fires.